Welcome back to Starfish Sea Fishing. Today we're going to be making the uh, Portsmouth rig or loop rig. You've probably seen me use this in most of my videos. It's a good way to get two baits out of distance with a nice streamlined rig. When it hits the bottom, so if you cast out, when it hits the bottom, it releases and clips off like so. It's a very good rig, quite simple to make, just a bit tricky at the end. We'll get into the rig components and get it made. And also a big thank you to everyone who subscribed recently. I really appreciate that. We'll have a quick intro and we'll get straight to the components. Right, we'll have a look at the air rig components. Uh, for the bottom, I'm going to be using um, aero pulley and a thermalink and you can use Gemini splashdown the difference with these is I find that these these aero pulleys these suit bigger hooks because of the gap here they just suit bigger size hooks where these who suit sort of size four two stuff like that um, I've had problems with these releasing on a number of occasions these I've never had a problem with them releasing um, if you've got any comments about these two, drop them in the box. I know some people don't like the aero pulleys. I've actually haven't had any problems with them. I do agree they're not great for small hooks. These are better for small hooks, but I have had lots of trouble with these not releasing before. So see so either one of them, whatever one you want to use. For this one, I'm going to be using the aero pulley and the thermalink. Um, we've got some beads. Need about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beads, four crimps, SRT spring, two snug line swivels. Uh, top swivel, uh, two hooks, I use a lead just to put the weight on and some air so they can rig tubing, that's how we're going to be making this rig up today. So let's get the components together. Right, so for my rig body I'm going to use £80 air Rovex. And just remember your rig body should always match your um, shock leader, so £60, £80, whatever lead you're using. So I'm going to start off with the lead, an aero pulley, you put the aero pulley on the lead, push it down, Add a thermalink. So we're going to be using an £80 rig body for this rig. So I'm going to take the £80 rig body, thread it through the thermalink. The way I do my knots is quite simple. I just come up three times. One, two, three, back through the loop. One, two, three. Uh, wet it to it's like that, pull it down, there you go, you just tighten the tag up like that, snip your tag off, so what we're going to do is can start putting the first components on, so first component to crib, put the crib on, a bead, Snud swivel, use quite large ones so you can see them today. Another bead and a crimp. We slide them up. And that's what we've got. So the first part of the rig is together, the bottom snud line. Now it's completely up to you where you want this, whether you want it, you know, right down or you want to come up or but personally, I like to keep these baits nailed to the bed on the bottom hook. So I come quite close in. Decent pair of crimps as well. Crimp the first one. Push it down. Crimp the second one. So that's crimped up. We can now put the other rib there, best of the big components on. So what we've got is a crimp. A crimp and a bead. And then we're going to use an SRT spring. Another bead. A snug swivel. Another bead. A 
and a rig crimp. We slide all that down to the bottom. And what we've got here is the top part of the rig. That's how it looks. But we keep this loose and we don't tighten it up at this point. We'll do that later. I'll explain why as we go along. And the next part is just to tie the top of the rig together. Now, I use these now because I use these Thermalinks on my shock leaders. I think they're absolutely excellent. Better than your uh, standard sort of lead clip or something at the bottom that gets snagged up. These don't get snagged, they're really good. So, top of my rigs, I use a large swivel. So we just put that through. Same again, same knot. One, two, three. Back through itself. And back up on itself. One, two, three. Pull the tag in tight, wet it. Pull the tag down. Chop the tag off. So our rig components body is now done. So that's loose, that's fixed. So let's get these snug lines tied on. So okay, so what we're gonna do first, gonna get rid of this. So we're gonna slide all that up to the top of the rig out the way. So I'm just left with that. We're gonna tie the uh, first snug line on. So we're gonna be using, well it's up to you what you use. I'm using 30 pound leisure on this particular rig. So again, put the snug line through the swivel. Again, I use the same knot, come up three times. One, two, three, back through itself. Up, one, two, three. Pull it tight, wet it, mark it up, pull it tight. Find my scissors, chop the tag head off. Right, I'll show you what length I use on the snug line here before we cut the snug line. So the length of the snug line will always depend on what type of fish you're fishing for, whether you want a short loop rig or a long loop rig. Um, when I'm fishing for hounds, generally the length of this rig body is quite long. So it will be from my arm to the bottom of my hand, which is about that. And I'll come back about six inches on that one. So that's about the length of my rig body. So we'll chop that off there. Okay, now I'm going to take a cascade swivel. I'm going to go through the largest part. Again, just the same knot I've used for everything else. Just up three times. One, two, three. Back through the loop. Up, one, two, three. Pull it tight. Wet it. Mark it up. There you go. That's the first part done. We chop the tag end off. So we're now left with that. Okay, the next part, I'm gonna take a little bit more snug line now. If you're fishing for bigger fish, there's nothing to say you can't put 40, 50 pound on the end of this, if you think you're gonna get bitten off. All right, same again. Just tie the normal knot, one, two, three. Ooh, the loop. One, two, three. Wet it, pull it tight. Mark the knot up, chop that off. Now for this, I use about six inches, only about six inches. And I'll chop that off there like that. Okay, the next part of this is some silicon tubing. Cut about five mil off. So you've got a little pair of piece of rig tubing like that. Get that through the snug line. Turn it back on itself. Come back through the silicon tubing and pull it tight. Now wet it and pull it tight. And you've now got a movable stop knot. Now after that we can add Let's say, for instance, another bead. And there's your bait stop, which is movable. That stops your bait sliding up your snug line. So now we're going to attach a hook. For this one, I'm just going to use um, all the hooks on there. Mustard Ultra Points, size one out. <clears throat> so we pull that quite close up to where you want it. So I only allow about an inch at the end there. So I'll cut some of the tag off because it's a bit hard to tie the knot like that. 
same again up three times one two three back through itself one two three mark the knot up wet it hold it from the back and pull it up now you've got about four inches on there chop the tag end off slide your uh, stop knot down now wherever you want that that can just sit there like that and that's the bottom part of the rig now i'm going to tie some daisy bound snug line on again come up three times one two three back through up again one two three tighten that up wet it mark it up now it's done chop the tag off Again with the length, completely up to you what length you want to use, but again I'll use an arm's arms length. So it'll be an arm's length on the snud line, but I make the top snud a little bit shorter than the bottom. Cut that off. Again, I'm going to take a little bit more silicon tubing. Again, about 5mm. Thread that through. Again, come back over itself and back through again. Pull it tight, wet it. Pull it quite tight. Again, you've got a movable stock knot. Again, you can back that off with a bead if you want, or sequins, or whatever you're fishing for. So again, we'll put the hook on. Same knot as I've used all the way through. Up three times again. Back through. Mark it up, cut the tag off, and you can slide that down then to whatever you want it. That's the top snug done. Now we've got the hard part, we've got to clip it together. Right, so for this bit, there's all the components on the rig now. So the top's still loose, it's not been tightened up at all. Okay, so we need to slide the top parts of the rig right to the top out the way. You need to take the bottom hook, clip it into the aero pulley, rise up, so you're pulling up on the rig body and the top swivel to the cascades like that. And there's your, your loop, you've got to make sure it doesn't come through your rig, so if it does you're going to have to pull it through. But the loop part of this, it is hard to show you this rig actually, but so that's what you've got on the bottom so you're holding that part so there's the loop there's the cascade swivel so you take the top snug line in your hand with the hook put it on the end of your cascade swivel and take your top snug and your rig body and pull them up so you've got the loop rig all clipped in like so pull the top like that so you get up now you want to hold just the crimp itself just the crimp by itself, leaving the hooks in place where you want them. So what I tend to do is, I put the lead in between my feet to keep some tension onto the snug line, hold the top of the rig and just the crimp at the top. I'll give it a pull up so this, this crimp, the spring just starts to spring like that and then I'll let go of everything, keep a tight hold of the crimp. So that is now where I want to so don't move the crimp at this point because th with this rig if that crimp goes out of position this rig won't work so crimp that crimp that top hook slide your other components down slide your other components down so you now got that on I'll show you this bit on the white mat it'll be easier so okay, so you've done your bottom crimp, your top one's still loose. So I'll put that rig that way actually, easier for me. So what you're looking to do is with the crimps on the top crimp, it's to slide it down so you start getting a little bit of compression on the spring, not too much, just a little bit, and then crimp that top crimp. Now what you've got is when the spring goes down, it springs and hits the top crimp. 
so it acts like a spring now as you'd expect that will help you in your cast so let's try and clip it together now that's all done now that's the, it's the hardest rig to make i think to be honest out of all the all the sea fishing rigs so you clip that one in the bottom you come up with your top your bottom snub and the main snub line the main rig body sorry chase that back through so there's your loop your loop rig and there you go i'll show you the full version in a minute so you've got just enough tension on that there not overly tensioned but just enough to make it spring back when it releases right so that's it then the loop rig hook in the bottom air clip clip that up again follow the rig body up so you just got the bottom snub line and the rig body held together by the cascade swivel put your top hook in grab the top snub line and the rig body and then you can just hold it like that give it a pull down you've got just enough tension in the line on there to make it spring back and there we go so as soon as it hits the water bang releases excellent rig and we'll just take a rig winder you can always place the aero pulley on first so I'll hold it down and just wrap it up and clip your hooks into the rig winder there you go one rig ready to go